Hi, in my last video, I showed you this uh, little printer I bought. It's the Kodak Mini 3 Retro Printer. It's really cute. Its uh, number is C300R. And I printed out some little pictures and it was not too hard. Well, what am I saying? Once you got all the software loaded and everything, it wasn't too hard. When I bought this, I initially had problems with it jamming. So I did not like that at all. But I bought this so I could print bigger pictures than I could with this. This was my Sprocket Plus. I've given it to my daughter. This prints two by three pictures. The Kodak prints the three by three pictures. And I wanted something a little bit bigger that I could put in my mini albums. Two by two or two by three is awful nice, but I couldn't uh, manipulate the photos the way I wanted to. So I wasn't very pleased with that. And I know some people out there are going, well, why don't you just use your inkjet printer and print your pictures? You know, you can size them on PowerPoint, Word, whatever. You can get photo software, do all kinds of editing. Well, my answer to that is I don't have an inkjet printer. I have a laser jet. And as far as I know, I haven't found any photo paper for the laser jet printer. Plus it would probably be super expensive. Whereas this is just nice and easy and I can take it with me. So we decided that uh, it would be nice to do a print test to see how things print out. The Sprocket evidently has a software upgrade now because I had to reinstall it on my phone and it did really well. Look at that. Not the crappy pictures that it used to print out for me. Hmm, I think I gave my daughter a piece of gold here. Anyway, as you can tell without the glare, that came out very nicely and that is her cat. And he's cute, whoops, and I just dropped him. Okay, so then I took the same picture and I printed it out with my Kodak Retro 3 that has that kind of uh, film color cartridge. And if you look at it, the only difference is it's really, I think it's brighter and bigger, of course it would be bigger, but it's comparable. So I don't know, maybe I should take it back from her. And then we decided that, hey, I just showed you how it um, is a printer. But if you look here, it's actually got a shutter button function. So you could use this as a camera if you wanted to and take pictures and print them out instantly. And on the back side, there's your controls. Oops, upside down, of course, because I'm showing you. Uh, you take a picture, hit the shutter button, and then you can hit the print button and print your little picture right out. So we thought we'd take a picture and see how well that went. And there we go, Fifi had to be in the middle of it. And as you can see, Fifi came out pretty well. Uh, colors, they're not quite true. They're not bright. Um, you can see that the case of the Kodak camera was out there and that's a bright yellow band around the black case right here. And it certainly doesn't look bright yellow. It looks kind of tannish. And then my iPad cover is really brightly colored and it's not so bright there. Anyway, I think it's a great little printer. It's fun. I can use it for my mini albums. Like I said, I might want to steal this one back occasionally too. Maybe she'll let me borrow it if I buy her some printer paper. Hmm? All right. There's my review, hope you liked it. If you did like it, please hit subscribe and hit the little bell, and then you'll know if I put out more of these silly videos. I do not get paid to do these videos, I just do them for kicks and giggles, because I like doing stuff. Thank you, bye-bye.